or conditions uh, remaining mildly bullish. Didn't get much of a move yesterday uh, and still sitting in that upper range right at 20 on the uh, market rank, seeing that continually just work its way sideways. Now, what that means, if you're new to this, is the upper momentum location as that is expanding in that uptrend. When it gets up into this 10, 15, particularly in the 20 ranges, it means that we've just got an extended trend to this level. So we've been topping out, we've been working our way back down this direction, and this number right here also shows up right here. So it'll talk about the bull market rank is at 20.8. That means that we're ranked right here. If that comes all the way back down and crosses back to a zero right here where it just barely has gone off the chart now uh, that's where we get this trend shift happening here so we're at the extreme level of the current tr uh, trend uh, on that long-term chart and seeing some shorter term uh, indications here of um, continued momentum we're seeing it the overall momentum indicator sliding through this range bound location and moving its way back up into that momentum area Breadth not moving much within the last day. We'll look at buy sell ratio sentiment also back up into that uh, extreme area, which is essentially just saying that there's really no fear in the marketplace right now. Buy sell ratio, we uh, moved back down just a little bit, 1.46, but still above one. Still seeing this green line above red. Nothing, uh, nothing super intense right here. We're not seeing a real sharp move back up, but we are seeing, at least in this uh, current rally, that we've got a breadth participating and sentiment back up above that 50% area, just slightly at 60%. Uh, the SP 500, if we look at that chart pattern, we're still just sitting really close. This, this uh, support area now, we're up above it, and we're also up above these locations and then these locations. So now we want to see if we can continue to hold up this support area around 510. Uh, and continue to build on this overall bullish sentiment that we've got, this current fledgling continuation of this bullish trend as it's been just counter-trending or correcting this rally that we've had since October. And it's now trying to decide if it wants to go this way or if it wants to roll back down and go this way right here, just kind of stuck in some indecision. We'll see if we get any follow through. We're seeing uh, NASDAQ, let's look at that chart pattern, similar chart patterns here, just barely back up. You can see they're almost approaching that bullish zone again on both NASDAQ and um, S&P 500 uh, and the Dow here as well. We'll take a look at that one. We're seeing sectors continue to improve, but not a whole lot off of yesterday. We've seen utilities, consumer goods back up in this uh, new uptrend or this continue uptrend buy zone holds. And then the one energy sell right there. Not a whole lot of change from yesterday, but everything in uptrends minus energy. And if we take a look at commodities, we're seeing gold uh, attempting that hold up right here yesterday just holding that pattern and a possible higher low right here from this low it could be indicating a new trend reversal this pattern right here if we can get a pop back up we may see uh, gold continue to take uh, an advance off of its rally right here off of this pause that it's got if we look at USO USO continuing to weaken I believe as of yesterday uh, it's up slightly that's actually a bullish bar right there if we look at that candlestick so uh, we talked about that yesterday some possible support starting to happen right here at these levels we're back we're back under that 382 approaching that 50 area anywhere inside of this box this 382 to 618 box is a counter trend or corrective reversal location uh, after, particularly after a three part counter trend if you get a three part counter trend and it's starting to find some support deep in this area that being said it's still in this downtrend so these are potential early signs of a bounce happening right here this again this is on USO uh, and uh, keep it. Let's keep an eye on oil. See if it can continue any kind of a uh, uh, downtrend, which I would prefer, and I think the markets ultimately would prefer that as well. Uh, we've got that's a USO. Let's take a look at some muscle stocks in the in the group today. Uh, BV. S, uh, BVS, medical drugs. We're seeing quite a few of those also showing up. SLN, uh, medical biotech, and again, top two, three, top three, also another medical biotech, CRBP. This is a nice looking pattern right here. Uh, it's had a massive volume, some type of a approval of some kind more than likely on some drug, uptrend, retracement, confirmation bar back up into that momentum zone as well. So we're looking at this location, new buy signal, oftentimes a lot of this 
uh, chop and counter trend and correctiveness creates a new base, a new foundation for more upside. So if we look at it that way, that all of this is now a, a base, can set a stop loss either below this level or below the current buy signal or even below that most recent hold location right in here, depending on uh, how that's being set up. You can utilize the portfolio calculator here to manage your risk. If you're simply clicking on this portfolio, decide on your portfolio amount that you're utilizing, go in and determine the number of shares. In this case, if we went with, uh, let's see what 50 shares is. 50 shares puts us right at 2% portfolio at risk. And then we can place our stop loss on that. However wide we want to be able to do that. If we went all the way down below this most recent low, let's call it 31.75, 31.75. That gives us a half a percent at risk on that trade with that wide of a stop and that big of a position. That's that's too much. Typically, we'll typically try and go for around that 0.3 or less. That's 500 at risk. So we can do two things. We can update our stop loss. Okay, We can move it higher so that it's a little bit closer to this price location, or we can adjust the number of shares and make that position size slightly smaller here. So if we went with 50 shares, if we updated that stop, let's move that stop to 35 a $35 that puts us a little bit closer 3550 is really a decent stop as well. And that's a little bit closer for a risk, the risk profile. So if we don't want to adjust our number of shares, we have to adjust the stop price. And that's one quick way to be able to look at position sizing using the position size calculator. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic day to date.